All right, it's Ernest, and uh, I'm gonna show you how I clean uh, slugs and pellets. All right, everybody has a different technique of cleaning, and this is mine. Uh, you might find it interesting or not, but I'll show you how I clean it anyway. All right, I got a box of raw 22 grain hybrids, all right. I put about uh, enough in here. I say a couple of hundreds. All right. What I put is a little bit of water and a lot of Dawn dish soap in there. Now the key point is run it. This is a, a zoom in here. Is the ultrasonic tumbler all right it's used for lapidary i used to use this to polish stones but it's useful in cleaning pellets but key is you don't run it too long i say less than a minute because if you're brushing it stirring it around and this guy you stir it five times this guy will stir it about hundreds of times so you gotta be quick i want to run it so you get inside the void, uh, the hollow in here, then clean the loose stuff. And the loose edging around the pellet, I mean the slug. All right, I'll show you how it works. You can control how it vibrates and, all right, let me turn. Let me zoom in. Anything loose in a void will come loose. All right. There's water there so it doesn't really want to wear out the slug around it. Because I already know how much how much time. If you go a little longer it will wear, wear out the edge more. Right. <clears throat> You'll see, yeah, it goes around and around and come over. Get every loose particles out of it. We got a time there. I'll stop at 45 seconds. Okay, you can control it so it doesn't, you know, so be gentle with it, stirring it around. I got a knob here to control it. You go slow on it if you want. All right, we're gonna stop it. We're gonna remove the container. Move this out of the way. Now, mm, well, let me find my strainer here. I'm gonna misplace it. All right, there's my strainer. Now rinse it off in uh, warm water. It's a good minute. Move it around. You can see some uh, voids on the slug. I'm gonna get some water in there. Alright, we're gonna clean out a tumbler. I hate to close up, but there's a lot of lead particles down here. 
all the loose stuff, I mean all loose lead, just like lots of them. So I'm gonna put this back. I just want a little bit of water. Put it back in gently. Just a little bit of water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it off. Put it back in a tumbler. Remove an excess soap out of it. Okay, no more than uh, 15 30 seconds. Believe me, this guy vibrates so fast, he's gonna do your work for you. All right, remove it now. Put it to the strainer again. Gently rinse off again. Now we're going to dry it. Now, this could take, <laughs> if you do it properly, just wait next day. But you need to get most of the water inside the cone. rag here all right I usually get a couple of rags and stir around till I get most of the water and let it sit overnight so you'll dry up the water inside the cavity or the voids that inside the slug all right you could dry this in the sun, all right, and uh, yeah, dry it, and uh, on the next clip is how we're going to lube it. All right, uh, these are hybrids, been drying overnight, and we're going to lube them, all right. Now, I use uh, this micro cloth, this yellow one. Now we're going to use bell stall. It's just as good uh, for me. It does. Just spray it just like that's it. Only a couple, three, four passes. Yeah, I think you don't want to over lube it. If you get too much lube inside the barrel, you're going to you're making the pellet hydrofoil, and plus it's too much in there. You add you make the barrel tighter. It just, accuracy doesn't uh, improve if you too much uh, lubricant inside the barrel. So very lightly. So we're gonna transfer the dry slugs into a cloth. Now, you gotta cradle this baby. So you wanna do this method. I say you got to do it several times, well, 30 seconds or a minute, till each side of the slug gets partial lubricant. And you notice it's kind of get, you know, lead lead color getting dirty it's also helping i guess clean the excess lead what's remaining of the loose stuff now now we're going to transfer it to a, a clean tin
You gotta be careful if there is some kind of lead, you don't wanna dump it in the tin. Here you go. Clean. Let's zoom in. If you do see a little bit of water inside the watt cutter or the void, yeah, let it sit overnight again. All right. That's how I clean my ammo. All right. Interesting, right? We'll catch you next video.